Now, your news on the go. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon delivered an ambitious State of the County speech last night. And among the priorities in a speech, acquiring new land to finish the Loop the Lake Trail and asking county lawmakers to support an agreement with the city of Syracuse to renovate Central Tech for a new steam school. McMahon also revealed a tenant has been signed for the Clay Warehouse, but no name has been released as of yet. With Lake Ontario's water levels already higher than average, the mayor of Sodus Point has declared a state of emergency. He tells us that the order will allow Wayne County now to come in right, right away to inspect sandbags and break walls and make any repairs before possible flooding. Last year, water levels broke historic marks, causing widespread damage and flooding. Well, Spectrum customers who lost cable, phone, and internet service for several hours Saturday can now apply to get a credit from the company. A spokesperson says that the outage was caused by damage to the company's fiber optic network and that they will work with the affected customers who contact them individually to get them a credit. We know who's going to close out the State Fair's entertainment this year. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts will take the stage at Chevy Court on Labor Day evening. Well, I love rock and roll. Other hits like that from Joan Jett. Labor Day, the 7th of September at 6 p.m. And she's only the second act they've announced for the State Fair. Jo uh, Sheena Easton's the other one on September 2nd. All right, voters in New York's 50th Senate District have a date for a special election. That's April 28th. So the date being set after first-term Senator Bob Antonacci left for a state Supreme Court seat. So far, Republican Angela Renna and Democrat John Mannion have announced their running.